Are you ready to work? Are you ready to work? Are you ready? Let's go. Meet Iris, the electronic sniffing dog. She's on duty finding child pornography for Kenosha police. See? See? Did you find something? Iris is one of three dogs with electronic sniffing training in Wisconsin, one of only a few dozen in the world donated by Operation Underground Railroad. Her primary goal is to sniff out hidden devices in child porn cases. Good girl! It has a specific type of glue in it, and that's what they're trained to alert on. Good girl! Detective Pete Dietz, Iris's partner, says the English lab shines a light in a dark world. Everybody's happy to see her every day, and she puts a smile on everybody's face. Is it in there? Show me. Good girl! Detective Dietz says in her first few months at the department, Iris has already helped find evidence in a half dozen child sex offender cases, landing the accused behind bars here at the Kenosha County Jail. For example, a criminal complaint says 51-year-old Shannon Litz recorded videos of a naked girl and sexually assaulted her earlier this year. The more that we can stop that, the less chance that children are, are going to be exploited. In the bottom of this is a micro SD card. In Kenosha, Terry Sater, WISN 12 News. If you want to see more of Iris in action, she has an Instagram page. There's a link to that on our website, WISN.com. Workers at Milwaukee-based Colectivo Coffee have voted to unionize. And I think it'll also be really important to show other people in the service industry that it can be done and that they um, can work towards this as well. The union vote covers Colectivo workers in Milwaukee, Madison and Chicago. Management for the business released a statement saying they are disappointed in the result, but will, quote, respect the rules and bargain in good faith. Milwaukee Common Council President Cavalier Johnson and four other aldermen issued a joint statement congratulating Colectivo workers saying, quote, we believe the owners of Colectivo will bargain in good faith and that this will lead to higher wages, better benefits and safe working conditions for all of Colectivo's employees. Our Class Act school supply drive is underway. WISN 12 and the Salvation Army are once again teaming up to raise money to buy school supplies for children in need in the Milwaukee area. There are two ways you can donate this year. We've posted a link on WISN.com slash Class Act, or you can text WISN to the number on your screen, 24365. Our donation drive ends September 2nd. American Idol is once again on the lookout for the country's next singing star. This is like the easiest way ever to audition for American Idol. The show's producer tells 12 News how you can try out for a spot on Idol's 20th season. And for the second time this week, a band has dropped out of the Summerfest lineup. And coming up tonight at 10, school ground chaos, cars plowing through a high school campus, the guarantee from the superintendent on who is not to blame. And from DoorDash to 40-yard dash, a Packers hopefuls detour on his path to Lambeau Field. That's coming up tonight at 10, right here on WISN 12.
it's getting better all the time. Modern English is pulling out of Summerfest this year. The band tweeted this morning they're postponing their U.S. tour dates. They plan to reschedule as many shows as possible in 2022. They were set to play the big gig on September 3rd. Yesterday, the Pixies also canceled their September shows, including a Summerfest appearance. Mexican Fiesta returns to the Summerfest grounds this year. It runs from noon until midnight, Friday through Sunday. Pre-sale tickets are $16. It'll cost you $20 at the gate. The Milwaukee Health Department will also be holding a vaccine clinic at Mexican Fiesta. Staff from Children's Wisconsin will be on site to answer general questions about vaccines. They'll be out there from noon until 6 at the Children's Wisconsin Community Park Children's Area. The search for the next American Idol is on and the next winner could be from right here in Wisconsin. Auditions for Idol Across America start today. 12 News' Deanna Gutierrez spoke with an Idol producer about the virtual auditions. What can we expect for these auditions since, of course, we're still in a pandemic? This is like the easiest way ever to audition for American Idol because you can do it for the comfort of, of your own home. So you don't have to drive anywhere. You don't have to pay for parking. You don't have to wait in line outside. Uh, all you got to do is, you know, get up, sign on and, uh, you know, click the link that we give you and uh, you'll be good to go. What do you look for in people who audition? What I usually tell people is like we're looking for good singers that could perform because we get a lot of people that will just sing. And I, I, I tell, you know, potential auditioners all the time, don't just stand there and look like a bump on a log. Nobody wants to see that.